In high definition. This is 41 NBC News at 6. All right, guys. Well, nowadays it's hard to find a restaurant without a freezer or a fryer. Yeah, it sure is. That means the food is coming out fresh, yeah. though, like at the perfect pair in Perry. Mm -hmm. Here's this week's restaurant report card. One thing sure to get people walking in beautiful downtown Perry is good food. We're at the perfect pair today. They've got some great homemade sandwiches, among some other things that we're going to try today. And oh yeah, they've got that perfect health inspection score. I'm Michael Warwick, and this is Restaurant Report Card. Oh, I think that everything makes the perfect pair special, but that's because it's my baby. Passion and pride. I eat, sleep, and breathe the perfect pair. That's what the perfect pair in Perry is all about. When I choose a place to eat downtown, I choose the perfect pair. So Megan so Brent is the owner. <laughs> She's also the chef. And it turns out, apparently, I have a good idea of what people like, so it works out. It does. If you're looking for some fresh, homemade sandwiches, Megan says, come on in. They could go anywhere and they decide to pick the, per the perfect pair. So it, it really does make my heart burst with pride. It, and it makes dishwashing and 100 hour weeks worth it for sure. First, here are your scores this week Margarita's at Mercer Village in Macon, 98. Makata Japanese Steakhouse and Sushi Bar on Riverside Drive, 96. Panda Express on Tom Hill Senior Boulevard, 91. Tropical Smoothie Cafe on Tom Hill Senior Boulevard, 88. Steak and Shake on Watson Boulevard and Warner Robins 92. Stir King on Watson Boulevard 91. 478 Country Buffet on East Johnson Street and Forsyth 80. Big Chick on Patrol Road and Forsyth 92. Grits Cafe on West Johnson Street and Forsyth 92. And Lucky Cafe on Harold G. Clark Parkway and Forsyth 93. And here's a restaurant that needs to step it up this week. Margarita's on Watson Boulevard in Warner Robins scored a 78. An employee was handling limes without any gloves on, and there was a black biological growth on the baffle of the ice machine. You can tell the love Megan puts in her food by the way the food is put on the plate. Anybody can make a plate pretty, but can you make it pretty and make it taste good? So both of those things are very important. And to make it look that good, it takes effort. I don't have a freezer or a fryer, so um, it's very important that, you know, I think that shows every day that everything's fresh and hand cut and we make everything every day. Okay guys, it is eating time. I love mac and cheese, I love barbecue, the perfect pair has combined them for me. This is the grown ups mac and cheese with barbecue on top. Look at how pretty the plate is as well. They really lay the food on there really nice and neat for me. Super excited to eat this. Let's take a bite. I'm going to get some of the barbecue on the noodles here. Nice and cheesy mac and cheese. I love it. You know, that combo really works. Woo! That was good eating right there. The sandwich, excellent as well. Great quality food. She cooks the best food in Perry, especially if you like pimento cheese and southern comfort food done right. And for a hands-on owner like Megan, you better believe the perfect pair is racking up a perfect health inspection score. I'm a bit of a stickler in the kitchen. Things are clean, tidy, and where they're supposed to be, and that's how I like for it to be. The perfect pair is making the grade this week. Until next time, this has been 41NBC's Restaurant Report Card. That perfect pair also caters oh. and January. You know, I had the bread pudding in there. Uh-huh. It tastes like Krispy Kreme donuts like oh. they just came out of the oven. No way! So good. Bread pudding that tastes like Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, I didn't man. get to show you guys me eating it, but I can assure you I downed the entire thing. Oh. I ate it all. I ate it all. For all your health inspection scores, head over to 41NBC.com.